Good morning, my fellow sons and daughters of liberty, knights of freedom. Welcome to another great segment of walking on the Ryerson Station State Park Warpath. And when I'm finished with today's patriotic march of 10 miles for our for the brave soldiers who have fought and died for freedom throughout the history of the world I'm going to be at 8,240 miles in five and a half years of walking for patriotism freedom liberty justice <laughs> so, liberty and justice for all where have we heard that before but in the truth the truth is freedom my friends uh, the name of this one, as always, I'm the beginning of a great, entertaining 20, 25 minutes, sometimes half hour. Depends on how long the show lasts on my uh, website. But this one's going to last a long time because I'm introducing you to a, as always, when you find my video on the internet, go to the bottom of the video when you're finished watching my video. That's the commercial break. And uh, so I go get a cup of coffee, a cup of tea, whatever. Get a beer. Get a beer! But <laughs> and then come back and click on the link of the title to my blog on my website. The same title as this video. Okay? And then that'll take you to the website. And sit back, relax, enjoy the pictures that I put up along with the videos and my thoughts on this subject and uh, it's a very interesting subject I was thinking about as always I'm an amateur historian and we us Patriots can always learn from our past because it's happened before uh, tyrants are not as creative as wise Patriots that's why the wise patriot will always outfox the hounds of tyranny. That's my saying. <laughs> of course, it was probably thought of a long time ago, but you know, great minds always think alike. So I uh, pulled it out of the air, and who knows where it came from. But, anyways, <laughs> the Spanish Civil War. Uh, it, in the history books, it's like, oh, the Germany and Italy fought and helped in the Spanish Civil War. Next, World War II. You know, it's like no one covers the Spanish Civil War very much and I had studied the Spanish Civil War years ago but something told me I gotta go check it out. So I'm glad I did because as I was watching these videos that you're going to go check out on my website about the Spanish Civil War after you're done watching this video um, I'm like wow I didn't know this so basically it, it was like uh, people from all around the world went to Spain to fight this Civil War it basically was a, a natural kind of uh, revolution and they overthrew the tyrants who were the leaders the royalty forever there so before that was before the revol uh, before the civil war they had a revolution so the communists took over and they robbed Spain of all um, their gold and sent it to Moscow uh, which I never knew so the nationalists ended up fighting the communists. What was interesting about this war was the people who helped people fought together in the revolution to overthrow the tyrant, the, the uh, tyrant dictators, the royalty. They ended up fighting against each other, and there was even a case where. Uh, Italians were fighting like I said everybody like nationalists and communists throughout the world went to Spain 
to fight this bloody civil war. So there was a battle where, like in the American Civil War, how the Irish would fight each other from the south and the north. Well, there was Italians fighting each other on both sides. And some of them had fought together in helping Spain win their freedom from tyranny of the tyrants, the tyrant imperialists. And uh, another thing I didn't know was um, people like Ernest, Ernest Hemingway and, and uh, Orson Welles, they went there to fight and to report on the war correspondence. But uh, very, very, very interesting. And like I said, as I'm watching this video, these videos, should I say there's a bunch of them, uh, it reminds me of what's going on right now with the communists overthrowing all these uh, dictators in like Egypt and and uh, Libya and you know so on and so etc cetera, etc cetera. all last year that's that's what the communists were doing our communist leaders in Washington without the approval of the Congress it's totally against the Constitution of America what these imperialistic bastards in Washington DC are doing so we have to stop then we have to arrest uh, Obama uh, he, he is insane we could clinically stop him from commanding the America being the president of the United States just by uh, Trump but by uh, charging him with it being insane we could get him on a back burner for a trial and then we can go from there but anyways go check out my blog it's very 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 interesting and I do believe we're going to learn a lot from this Civil War um, to help us in the coming uh, world events that are going to happen here in America. I hate to say, but I have a bad feeling we're going to have a civil war here. And these, like I said, these 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 uh, tyrants they they don't have imag they don't have imaginations. They can't think of anything new, so they use the past as a blueprint to. And like George Orwell's book, 1984, they have no creative minds, and we do. So, as always, wise patriots will outfox the hounds of tyranny, and we must examine the Spanish Civil War to learn how to defeat these. Now, like I said, the really interesting thing is it's really confusing because Nazi Germany and fascist Italy helped General Franco and the nationalists win that war. So it's like, wow, <laughs> you know, what a choice, fascism or communism? It's sort of like today, huh? See you guys in the next video.